Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I am going to be working my way through this week's Timeless Trials, and it's going to be the SS level trials now. So, let's begin with SS Trial 1, where the time law is Flyer and Aquatic attack and defense increased by 20%. So, this time law buffs Flyer and Aquatic, which means actually almost all the enemies are buffed. Flyer, Flyer, Aquatic. Flyer, Aquatic, Flyer. <laughs> the only one that's not buffed is the Calvary. Jeez. Okay. So, I am going to bring, I think, Tieris here <laughs> for Healing Light and Miracle. I'll bring Leon just to kill off, I guess, the Leviathan, although it's not required, but it's fine. And Le Liana will be here for Act Again. So, this will be my party. Let's begin. So, to start, let's have Leaden faction buff up. And then, let's just move Leon forward. Let's have Liana move up and use Act again on Leaden. And then, let's have Leaden, Divine Guard. Ooh, I forgot to give Sophia regenerate. That's fine. Hopefully that's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll see. So I'm just gonna heal Levin. And then have Tieris miracle up everybody. Hopefully this works. I am missing out one of the healing effects, right? Sophia should have had regenerate on Levin as well. But hopefully healing light does enough. Right. So let in with Miracle can one shot a gargoyle. And actually, even with damage phallus, he can still one shot that vampire. Uh, the vampire bats. So it is working pretty well, it looks like. So in that case. <laughs> just going to attack Blessing, I guess. Leon. Have Leaden in this turn. And then heal up Leaden. That's pretty much it. No point in casting Rewind when Leon hasn't even attacked yet with Chivalry. So Leaden still has Miracle. So Angel dies. Oh, he got hit by defense break, but he still had enough uh, attack to kill off the Lobster Behemoth. And now Gargoyle attacks. And he also had enough attack to do that too. So. Desert. Uh, I hate this terrain, so I'm just going to be careful and just chivalry next to the Leviathan to make sure I can attack it. And with attack blessing, that was enough. There we go. SS Trial 2, Lancer attack and defense increased by 20%. So Leaden will be a bit happy, except there are a bunch of infantry enemies. So why don't I actually... Uh, we'll just leave it, it's fine. Um, let's change that to regenerate. I mean, I can leave Tiaris or I can bring Bozo, it doesn't matter. Let's just leave Tiaris. Too lazy to change at this point. So. I mean, I can have Leon Chivalry and move all the way up, but there's no point. So I'm just going to initially move characters forward. 
And that'll pretty much be my first turn. Surprisingly, this Hellhound had enough mobility to actually get into range to attack Ledin. Didn't expect that. If I did, I would have uh, had Ledin activate the Vanguard to start. Oh well. No big deal. Let's have Leon chivalry up and strike the Orc Berserker, the only one who can remove Ledin's guard skill. Oh wow! And I didn't do enough damage. So I'm going to have to waste again. For Leon to finish it. Mm, waste indeed. Oh well. Let in more Divine Guard. Let's have Tierras Miracle up. Then let's have Sophia rewind the point. Forget. Ledin continue to show off why he is my favorite character. And he does have this debuff, cannot use passive skills. But it's not a big deal. Um, why don't I have Ledin? melee attack here. But first, I need to kind of figure out who should get attack blessing, right? You know what? Let's just do it on Leon. Let in melee attack, which actually hits the lava titans. And then Leon will Chivalry up. Oi! Crap. Crap. Alright, um. <laughs> Whatever. I'll use Leaden to tank everything once more. So let's just pray her up here. So he's gonna get a bit of a beating from the Necromancer. Fortunately, he did enough. And also fortunately, the Necromancer's Hellfire Archers... Uh, oh, never mind. They can't curse me. So at this point, it's just wiping out the Necromancer. Done. Alright, SS Trowel 3, enemy is immune to all debuffs. So, I continue to use Tierras, in other words. Okay. So I'm going to just swap the, those two's positions, and that should be enough. I think. Here we go. 
So Leon is going to chivalry. Assault the angel. And if I place myself here, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, maybe not. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, like so. Let's have Liana then move up and act again. Leon to kill off the target. Or not. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. I've let him the vanguard up where he is standing right now. And Sophia is going to regenerate my Leden. And then Pieris will apply Miracle on everybody here. So for now, I do want to tank hits from both of these. So to do so, I'm going to place Sophia right there into range of both. Yeah. Let's just move Liana down the tile and shift everyone over accordingly. Let in, we'll take another three hits. Angel's the first. Skeleton Knights, the second one. Lancer will be the third hit. Let in just needs to tank one more hit. Oh, wow, he actually doesn't have enough damage to one shot these Lancers. So they're pretty strong. I'll have Sophia rewind here. Then Leden can Divine Guard up again. Leon can Chivalry up. And I guess Assault would really help you, right? And then reactivate Miracle. One down. And two down. There we go. Really, Tier <laughs> throwing in Tieris with this group really simplifies all of these battles, ridiculously so, once you have a 6-star Tieris. So, SS Trial 4. After attacking, damage is reduced by 20%, cannot be dispelled. So, this battle favors AoE attacks or Leaden counter-attacking everything. Although, if you need Leon to one-shot a few things, like the Leviathan or these things, that works too. All right, so I think I'll run this party like so, and I want Leon to kill off the cuttlefish, the mages, probably, or actually just the mage and the leviathan, if possible. So. 
Let's begin. So, chivalry. Assault. And retreat back. So what I have to do the first turn is really just provide some blocking for my healers. Let in. We'll just move up and faction buff. So I'm moving out of range of all of these enemies initially because I have to line everybody up. Search Tentacle and Leon helps block. Everyone else starts coming forward to me, and now I just need Leon to one shot this Leviathan, and I'm good to go. So for now, let's see. Yes, let's have. Let's have Tiaris, Miracle Up. Everyone. I'm going to actually have Sophia do something weird. She's going to regenerate. Let in. I'm going to have Liana again, Sophia, just so she can rewind it one. Here. And in that way, Leon gets the opportunity to chivalry attack. And back off. And now I just need Ledin to kill off everything else. Because Leon can finish off the Leviathan. So the double heal of Healing Light with Sophia's Regenerate is keeping Ledin's soldiers relatively healthy. It's not enough to bring him to full hit points, but it's reasonably close. And now we have Leon finish off the Leviathan. And then we're pretty much done. I mean, I can attack with some Leon, but he's not going to be doing much damage at this point. Cleared. And then we're on the SS Ultimate Trial. Physical attack damage reduced by 50%. Okay. Not a very friendly time lot for me. Oh, this map. They're also Lester friendly. Uh, they're not triggered. So, Lester, where are you? Okay, right there. So Lester, I am going to bring Leon. I am going to bring Liana. I am going to bring Sophia, although she wants strengthen once more. And my last character will be a ranged damage dealer, which is going to be Lena. Yep, 
so this looks good. Um, first turn is just moving characters toward into position. And yeah, here we go. Let's begin. Let's just shift everybody over a little. Strengthen. Lena. And shift beyond. So. Yes. One by one, as usual. Chain hook Narm to start. And get out of the way. I have Leon. Chivalry up. Next to Narm. An assault so that Narm can't heal. And then retreat. And then Lena should be able to just finish it. The only thing is, yeah. Do I? I think I need to avoid uh, Shuri. So it'll be an attack at three range, like so. And darn, down goes an arm. And I might as well kill up Leon. Don't have to use rewind because I saw clocks activate on Lester. So I'll keep that on hand. Until next turn. So. Let's now pull. Tiaris. No. Wait. I think I have to pull Shuri and make sure she dies. Right? Because actually, if I have Lena attack from here, it should work out. If I pull her, right? If I pull Tiaris, it's one, two, it would be like this, right? So she ends up in this water tile here. Lena attacking at three range would attack, be able to attack Tiaris. But so yeah, this works. So let's chain hook Tiaris now. Can get Lester out of the way again. And let's start with Leon. Striking Tiaris. And retreating. And then might as well act again. Leon, I guess. And also have Lena attack at 3 range. But first, I need to be. Can I apply this buff onto Lena as well? So I'm going to have Lena cleanse attack Tiaris. Then rewind everyone here. After Leon kills. And then the rewind. Alright. Shuri is next, but I am a little bit out of position right now, so let's just wait a second. Not really a rush to kill her, I don't think, so I can afford to wait. We'll shift the room over a little bit before I attack. And have Sophia strengthen Alright. 
So, chain hook. Move myself out of the way, as always. Leon has to attack first, because I need to rip apart those angels. Right. In order for Lana to actually do damage. So. Chivalry first. And just a regular strike for the first attack. And then retreat. Like so. So that Vienna can cast act again on Leon. And then, for this attack, he can use Assault to rip up the remaining Angels. And then finally, to finish, I simply need Lena at 2 range to Dark Reaper. And let's heal up Leon now. Two enemies left. Nine turns. I can wait this out, and I'm going to. Because I need Lester to refresh his chain hook. Because I'm going after Lana next. So, move up. Move over, and turn, and turn, and I'm not going to attack next turn, so let's just end it. Alright. And turn, and turn, strengthen, and end my turn now. Nine chain hook. Here we go. Retreat. Leo, uh, Lana first because she has to wipe out the lava titans for Leo. So why don't I make this a three range dark reaper? No, don't have to worry too much about that. Uh. Just need to make sure I attack in a tile where Luna doesn't attack me. So right here. Let's just Dark Reaper. The Sorceress will tank most of the damage. And actually, Lana's already nearly dead. So, with this attack, down goes Lana. And all I have to kill is Luna. But I think I have to rewind here. Because... I don't think Chain Hook activated. Or sorry, I don't think Clock's activated. So, rewind. And... Chain Hook. Luna. And move back. So Luna has Bolt Rangers, which get, which have a 50% chance or 60 percent chance to reduce damage by 50 percent. Mm. Not a good one. Um, so let's have Lena be my primary attacker here. And I'm going to attack at three range to rip up those Bolt Rangers to start. And then, let's re-strengthen Lana. Act again her, I think. Or should I have Leon act again? I'm not sure. Let's have Leon attack first. Let's see how much damage he does with this first strike. More than enough, clearly. Hey. 
So, whiff hacked again on Leon. She can now use Assault to finish off Luna. So there we go. Another Lester friendly battle. And I get another Eye of the Beholder. Hmm. I think this is my second one. So, I mean, I guess I can build up a Eye of the Beholder slowly. Right? You get a chance to decrease the enemy's damage dealt by 15%. Actually, that's not a bad thing at all. Um, yeah, we'll wait and see. Slowly, I'll build, I'll build it up. In fact, I might actually want more than one. And it's for Ancient's Call. That might be the reason. So we'll see. I mean, as usual, all these kind of things is limited based on the number of epic martial spirits I have. So slowly but steadily, I'll probably build one up for Ancient's Call because uh, Ancient's Call, I find, is very much about getting 100% damage reduction on the enemy so that they can't hurt you, right? Or 100% damage reduction on your characters. Uh, so yeah. So having two of these, to have two chances of reducing enemies damage dealt by 15% is not a bad thing, especially if you bring multiple mages to these battles, right? That way you get more chances of putting that debuff on them. We'll see how it goes. I'm definitely going to hold on to both for now, in hopes of building them both up to level 50. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Nitro out.